Well, yeah, you know, KD was on him for most of the night, but then the second year, the second half, Draymond took on that responsibility, and I thought he did a good job on, on some of his drives and then switches and then in that nature. So, uh, you know, you're right. The stats don't really tell you how effective he was, but he was very effective for what he was able to do tonight. All the little things, the rebounding, the boxing out, the clogging up the lane, uh, those things just go unnoticed that don't show up on the stat sheet. Beads, you've done something that most people do. They look at stat sheets, right? Yeah, yep. His, his, his value is not on this paper. That's why I need y'all to talk it's about it. It's not on this paper. He does so many things. I think, I believe that he's, he, is, he stirs the coffee for this team, okay? He's the heart and soul of the team. They take on his toughness. They take on his, his leadership. And that, those things don't show up on this stat sheet, and that's the reason why he is, for this team, one of the elite players in our game. And check this out. When Steph was over on the sideline, he got into it with Kendra Perkins. Who was the first one that ran over there? Draymond, Draymond Green. As he good Draymond teammate. Green. As he should. And, and that stuff doesn't show up on so, the stat so sheet. So speaking of something that don't show up on the stat sheet, how about activating Perk? Let him go out there and give you five or six fouls. Man, I'm tired that's going to be a quick flagrant, too, though. I know, but I'm tired. <laughs> but, but Probably going to be out of there so quick, man. Y'all don't think he could get five minutes and a few fouls? I mean, if he's going to antagonize Rodney Hood, them to the If point, Rodney Hood is not getting any minutes, then how do you start. activate Perk? You know, Rodney Hood's been there a lot longer than Perk. He just got on the team a month ago. <laughs> I don't know where they go from here, Cleveland Cavaliers. They go home. You know well, what? They go I home. Mean, Thanks for the They're going to be much man, better man, at home. What, what do you see? What do you see? Wait, in these games that, better. that's a positive because we said okay game one they played them close game two they get blown can out. i tell you what's a positive a for them the third moving? quarter the third, the third quarter, quarter they played yes. well this is where this was their chance to get back in the game they cut the lead but they only outscored the Warriors by three points in that quarter. paul you didn't see they anything positive they couldn't, for they, couldn't the Cavs. they didn't guard in the second half so tell you they didn't guard did you because see anything they, positive for the Cavs? I, the things that i want to see positive is them play better defense mm -hmm. they did open up their offense in the third quarter but but you have to defend to beat them. The what Houston do, Rockets do, showed that. What do role players do better at home? Uh -oh. They shoot better. They're more confident. Of course. Really? And, of that, course. and that's what I saw. The Cavs took care of the ball. 25 assists, only 10 turnovers. You mentioned the third quarter. And they still haven't shown me that anybody can slow down or I, stop LeBron James. Listen, I, I, I think, and I'm pretty sure Coach Kerr and, and the Warriors were going in that locker room happy to be up 2 0. However, thinking we haven't played a great basketball game They yet. played great tonight. I, they played listen, great. Listen, two guys did. They played and Clay great. Played pretty I mean, good. What, what more do you want from this team? They scored 122 no, points. No, they did, and they got it and done. They shot well. I thought they defended well. They, Paul, I thought how they many great times tonight. did we sit up here during the game and say, man, Cleveland can steal this game? We, we said that for three and a half quarters, well, three quarters. Without a doubt, without a doubt. Now, when you go home and you have that opportunity and you got guys playing with a lot more confidence, you know, it's, it's, it's maybe Golden State can steal the game. Yes, yes. So, I mean, it's, it's you know, they got a chance to make it. What serious. you said was the reason why I felt like they will win by 20 today, which is also the reason why I'm saying the Cavs going to win game three. And the reason why they're going to win it is because the Golden State Warriors moniker is strength in numbers. But really, they're so reliant on their best three shooters in Steph, Clay, and Durant that I don't know if Livingston and JaVale McGee are going to be able to get that level of productivity Draymond. and efficiency while they're playing in Cleveland so in the game three. For the record, he just did a prediction on Sunday. You said Cleveland's yeah, you going to win with the Cavs three. in three. Interesting. Does anyone, do they have what it takes? Granted, nothing yeah, shocking happened. So. They lost two games on the road. That's uh, uh, what you're supposed to do. Well, there was a series well, who's a, few, a few weeks ago, and they was 0-2 down against Boston as <laughs> Guys, well. I think Cleveland gets it done at home in Le game three. LeBron is averaging 40 points, probably 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. Paul. What more can he do? Who Who's going to step better at up? Home. Go on so, so who plays better at home? LeBron is averaging 42 and 10. I'm trying to give you the and gems. And you and just won't play. And I'm giving you the cards to play, Paul. <laughs> so he's putting all your faith in J.R. Smith playing better. Paul, I'm giving Jeff you the Green, cards to play. Jack, Larry Nash I am, Jr. I am. I'm trying to help you out here, yes. Paul. How about this? Tristan Thompson This is a well. different monster they're dealing with in the Warriors. We get out of this show. Y'all continue arguing. Uh, of course Wherever we will. everyone goes after this. <laughs> get it done, man. By the way, I told you, Wednesday. this might be a sweet. Join us on NBA Countdown Stop. at 80 Eastern ABC. You, you did say that. That's all for us. Go over to ESPN. Here's what's coming up on SportsCenter. I'm going to Cabo next Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> after the game, turn